guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, welcome. So today's video, I'm going through all of my Bodycology fragrance mist. I actually just recently did a full fragrance mist collection. Like, I went through all the shelves back there. In case any of you guys missed it, I will have it linked up here for you guys to check out and also linked in the new description box. But in that video, I actually didn't go through my Bodycology mist or my Body Fantasies mist, so I am planning on doing another video similar to this going through all of those as well. I think I have like 15 or 16 different Bodycology scents. So I'm going to go through each one and give a description, kind of my opinions on them. And I think at the end of the video, I'll narrow it down to like my top three. Just in case any of you are not familiar with Bodycology, it is a very affordable brand. I find most of mine at Walmart, but you can find them in other stores. Like I've seen them at Bed Bath & Beyond. I want to say maybe even like at the drugstore, sometimes even at the grocery store. And there are a couple scents in my collection that I did order online that were discontinued so they do bring out some seasonal scent but for the most part you can almost always find these in stores for less than five dollars. I do love the fact that they are such an affordable brand and I feel like they have a good range of a lot of different scents. I feel like the main thing they're lacking is more so like gourmand scents so if you're someone who loves like cake scents or cookie scents. They don't really have a ton of those. There are a couple sweet ones, but for the most part, they're more of like florals, fruity florals, or just more like straight, fresh, and fruity scents. So yeah, that's a little bit about Body Ecology. I'm not really going to go in any particular order, actually. I do kind of have these color coordinated, so I guess we'll go in that order. So the first one we have here is Picnic Breeze, and this one I think came out last summer, and I know a lot of people were comparing this to Gingham from Bath & Body Works, and I can definitely say, since I do really enjoy Gingham, this is very similar. It is very like heavy on that citrus note. It has notes of sweet clementine, apple blossom, and wildflowers, so it is mixed with those floral notes, but I think the main thing that you get is that fresh citrus note in there. This would be perfect for the summertime or even springtime because it does have those hints of florals in there. This would be that kind of just like casual everyday scent. It's definitely one of those scents that is work appropriate. It's kind of one of those scents you really don't have to think much about. So I believe this scent you should still be able to find in stores. If not, they usually end up bringing scents like this back so you might be able to find this one during the summertime. So the next mist we have is called Twilight Mist. I do really like this one. So it has notes of coconut, violet, and vanilla. Sometimes it'll give a little bit more of a description here on the the back but they usually have scent notes right here on the front and I love the fact that they include scent notes on the bottle. It's a lot easier especially if you're gonna get into fragrance layering just to kind of know the specific scent notes in here. So I do really like this scent and I kept going back and forth because it reminded me of something but I couldn't quite figure it out until I was thinking which it kind of makes sense because this is called Twilight Mist but it kind of is similar to Twilight Woods from Bath & Body Works which is an old retired scent. I used to love this one years and years ago. It has notes of lush berry, sparkly mandarin, soft mimosa, apricot nectar, and cypress wood. So really when you compare the notes, they aren't really similar at all, but somehow they do have a similar type of scent to them. If anything, I almost feel like Twilight Mist is a little bit stronger. It's a little bit more musky and creamy, which I really enjoy. So as much as I have loved Twilight Woods in the past, I almost feel like I like this one a little bit more. If you were into more of those musky kind of powdery scents, I think you would really enjoy this one just because it has this warm kind of cozy feeling to it, but it's still slightly sweet. I just think it's a great soft everyday scent. It's the perfect scent to wear in the evening or at night. Now the next one I have, I actually hauled this it was a couple months ago now. It was during the fall time, but I ended up finding the body cream first at Walmart and I was only able to find the body cream at that time. And then since then I did find the fragrance mist. So this is called Wild Berries and Cream. I believe this was a past fall scent and it has notes of sweet wild berries and whipped cream. I do believe this is a fall scent, but I honestly think you can definitely wear this one during the springtime as well. I'm definitely picking up on some type of floral notes in there. The berries and the cream is what you mostly get, but it's mixed in there with some type of floral note that make it a little bit more perfume like but I will say this is a very light scent so I really don't see this one lasting very long on the skin I think I would probably consider this more of a fruity floral I'm just getting a lot of florals in here for some reason it really doesn't have any florals listed here on the back or anything but that's just kind of what I'm getting from this one because it does seem a little bit more perfume like I just wish this one was a bit stronger okay so this next one actually I ended up ordering it online and I want to say I found it on fragrance net they do have a couple scents available online and I think you might even be able to find these on Amazon as well but this scent I had never seen in stores before it's called sweet cotton candy it has notes of cotton candy and strawberry sugar I should have pulled the body finances cotton candy because I really want to compare 
pair these two because this is a very artificial candy scent which is not necessarily a bad thing but I was hoping for more of like a sweet almost like juicy strawberry scent to me I'm almost getting this like grape like scent which kind of reminds me of the cotton candy from body fantasies it kind of reminds me also of fun dip like the fun dip powder or some type of like kool-aid powder any of those candies from like the 90s like in the baby bottle pop or something like that that is what this is reminding me of you definitely have that more candy like scent to it it's still very light very airy like a light sweet scent so it does kind of remind me of spun sugar or like a cotton candy so I do think this one is nice although if I'm going to go for a cotton candy scent I think I would still prefer something like boardwalk taffy because that one is just a true cotton candy scent the next one I have is raspberry and daisy and this is a new-ish one to my collection it does say new here on the cap but I think I got it like several months ago at this point it has notes of ripened raspberries and daisy petals you do get a lot of that raspberry note in there which almost makes it a little bit tart and I'm also just getting a lot of fresh flowers like it's a very floral scent and I feel like that's exactly what it is like what the name is raspberry and daisy like that's what you're getting you're getting like this tart slightly sweet and fruity raspberry scent mixed with like wildflowers very floral very fresh to me this just reminds me of spring so I would say if you're someone who is not really into florals you probably won't like this one I do like a raspberry note in a lot of fragrances but for me I prefer it to be a little bit more gourmand and this is definitely more floral up next we have is sweet love so it's a very sweet floral scent and again whenever I smelled this I was like this reminds me of something so I was kind of going through my collection and I was like oh my gosh this reminds me a lot of pink chiffon from Bath and Body Works like they are literally so so similar so you have notes of sweet florals and whipped cream there is a rose note in here as well I actually don't have the notes here for pink chiffon so I can't remember all of them but it's more of a fruity girly floral sweet scent I know there's like a pear note in there as well so I'm not sure as far as like similar scent notes that they have if anything, this one might be a little bit heavier on that sweet rose note compared to pink chiffon. Pink chiffon is just more of like a light girly sweet scent and this is a little bit more heavier on the florals. But overall, they definitely give off a similar vibe. This would be perfect for spring, that kind of like everyday scent for those of you who like floral scents. Okay, so this next one, I was really surprised by. I really didn't think I would like it as much as I do, but this is Watermelon Splash. This is another scent that I picked up last summer and it just smells really good. I definitely need to get more use out of it this upcoming summer. It is a juicy melon and fruit medley and this basically smells like watermelon candy. It is so sweet. It's a very juicy, fruity scent and even though I'm not someone who really likes watermelon scents, this is just... It just smells so good. It would be perfect to wear during the summertime, during high temperatures, whenever it's super hot outside. This is just a very refreshing, juicy, sweet scent. I do have other watermelon scents in my collection, like the Watermelon Body Butter from Tree Hut. Like that one smells just like watermelon candy and that would pair perfectly with this fragrance mint. This is a really good one. If you love sweet, almost candy-like fruity scents, you would definitely enjoy this one. I think this is perfect for the summertime. Okay, the next one I have is Pink Vanilla Wish. Again, this is more of a sweet, floral scent it has notes of sparkling pink peonies warm vanilla and almond this one for some reason is kind of hard for me to describe because it is a floral scent but it's still sweet and you get a lot of that almond note mixed in there. To me, this is definitely giving me more of that perfumey vibe. Like this one is very strong as well, but just keep in mind that it does have a pretty strong floral note mixed in there, but it's not just like a straight up floral because there is like that warm, sweet vanilla and almost kind of like this toasted almond note in there. So I do think this is a really good one, especially for the price. Like this smells like an actual perfume. So it's really great that it is so affordable and I think this would be a great everyday especially if you're kind of just getting into more perfumes and kind of want to test out different floral scents. I think this is a really good one because it has those added sweet notes mixed in there. Okay, next one I have is another seasonal scent. This one came out during the fall season and this is a sweet apple cider. So I'm not someone who really loves apple scents, but over the fall season, I kind of was getting into them. I wanted to play around with them a little bit more. So this is a fresh apples and mold spices and that is not typically the type of scent that I go for. Like anything with like a super heavy, spicy, cinnamony note is usually not my favorite although I do have just a couple of those type of scents in my collection and although this is more of like a fall apple scent I feel like maybe you can get away with wearing this one like maybe during the spring and even summertime if you just love apple scents because it is such a sweet 
crisp, juicy apple scent. It's actually not too heavy on the spicy note, in my opinion. So I'll have to try this one out again. Maybe I can layer with other sweet kind of apple scents in my collection, just to keep it from being too much of a spiced apple scent. Another one that came out during the fall season, this is Spiced Pumpkin. This has notes of pumpkin and spiced cinnamon. So again, you have those spicy cinnamon notes mixed in there. And this one to me more so just screams fall. I mean, like most pumpkin scents do. I don't really see myself reaching for this one any other time other than the fall season. I'm picking up very heavy on the spices, on that cinnamon note. It kind of smells like some type of like spiced warm drink in my opinion. I feel like whenever I first got this one, I didn't mind it, but it's like the more I'm smelling it, the more I'm picking up on that heavy cinnamon note. And I'm just not sure if it's really the type of pumpkin scent I like to wear, like as in body care. I do have other ones like marshmallow pumpkin latte, I don't mind or white pumpkin and chai. That one smells really, really good. But this one is just very heavy on the cinnamon in my opinion. I mean, I didn't really end up getting very much use out of it during the fall season anyways. But I don't know, There, I know there are a lot of people who really love like heavy pumpkin, kind of spicy scents. If that's something you might be into, then I think you would enjoy this one. It was a fall scent, so you may or may not be able to still find this in stores. This one I believe I picked up in store last summer and this is Island Beach Paradise. It has notes of coconut, sea breeze, and tropical fruit. Fruits. And this to me smells so good because it is super beachy, very tropical. It's almost mixed with some like tropical floral scents. Like I wish I knew what type of florals exactly were mixed in there. To me, this is just one of those scents that almost smells kind of like suntan lotion or something like that. And I like scents like those, especially during the summertime. It's perfect if you're planning on going out to the pool, going to the beach or something like that, just because this is literally like a beach vacation in a bottle. Like this is just getting me ready for summer. If you like coconut scents, I think you would really enjoy this one, especially more like beachy, tropical coconut scents. Okay, now we're gonna get into some of these sweeter vanilla scents. This one is called Toasted Sugar and it has notes of vanilla, brown sugar, and amber. One thing I will say about these though, when you first spray them and they do kind of have that heavy alcohol smell to them so you really want to like let them dry down a little bit to really pick up on that scent because whenever you first spray these you just get like straight up alcohol sometimes especially with this one for some reason but as it does dry down it's a little bit more of a warm sugary sweet scent it does have like an amber note mixed in there as well and for some reason i'm kind of getting this like slightly smoky scent to it almost kind of like in a bourbon vanilla or something like bonfire bash like how that one is like a super smoky almost like toasted marshmallow vanilla scent this is almost kind of giving me a similar vibe to that but i wouldn't say they're dupes just because it's not quite as smoky as something like that. It's a little bit lighter and more of kind of like this burnt sugar scent, which I feel like I may be describing this in a bad way, but I do like more smoky vanillas, like especially bourbon vanilla. That is one of my favorites. I just wish this one was a little bit stronger because it does come off as a light vanilla scent. Another vanilla scent, this one is called Whip Vanilla and it has notes of creamy florals and warm vanilla. Whenever I first sprayed this, I was curious how it was going to compare to warm vanilla sugar. That one is a very sugary sweet vanilla mixed with florals and this one is also mixed with florals so I was kind of going back and forth and comparing the two but I don't think they're dupes in my opinion this one does come off a little bit stronger than warm vanilla sugar I was comparing it to the newest version of warm vanilla sugar though so this one is a little bit of a lighter scent this does smell really good because it is like that sugared sweet vanilla scent but there's just something a bit warmer with this one i'm almost kind of getting like a slight vanilla spice note but very very little there's just something else added in here just to make it a little bit more stronger a little bit warmer and not quite as sugary sweet i think if anything actually this is closer to victoria's secret bare vanilla there are subtle differences mixed in there but i think overall they are pretty similar so if you like bare vanilla i think odds are you would like some Thing like this one. Just like a very sweet, warm vanilla scent mixed with florals. I think it's a very wearable sweet scent. Like this is not a gourmand sweet. It's similar to more of the perfume-like vanilla that you would find in bare vanilla or even warm vanilla sugar since it is mixed in there with some florals. The next one we have is another one that's very similar to a Bath & Body Works scent. This is Cozy Fireside S'more. This one I think came out 
maybe like a year or two ago and they've been bringing it back during the fall season. This unfortunately is limited edition but you might be able to find it in stores now since it was just out a couple months ago. And this has notes of smoky marshmallow, sandalwood, and chocolate. And it does have pictures of like a little s'more here on the front. But I wish the chocolate note was stronger because I was hoping for more of like a true s'more scent. I wanted to get the graham cracker with the toasted marshmallow and the milk chocolate. To me this is mostly like a woody smoky scent with kind of like a toasted marshmallow. So because of that, it is very similar, like almost identical to Bonfire Bash. I don't mind because I do like Bonfire Bash, but I also wish there was something a little bit extra to this one. If it just had that chocolate note mix in there, it would make it perfect. I think everyone would go crazy for a scent like this just because it does have like that toasted marshmallow note to it. But if you've been wanting Bonfire Bash, or if you like Bonfire Bash, you're gonna like this one because it's almost the exact same. This next one actually really surprised me because even just looking at the bottle, like you would expect a very like heavy, fresh floral scent. Well, it still is, but there's something a little bit extra to it. And this is called a Beautiful Blossom and it has notes of apple blossom and magnolia petals. So even though it is a fresh floral scent, it has this nice sweetness to it. I almost feel like it's a little bit fruity. Like it definitely has this sweet note mixed in there. And I believe apple blossom is a sweet floral if I'm not mistaken. So maybe that's what I'm picking up on. And to me, this smells more of like a perfume. So this would be a great everyday scent. Like I feel like if you're wearing this one, people would probably think you have a perfume on. I just think Think it's a very pretty girly scent perfect for the springtime surprisingly even though i'm not someone who like really really loves a lot of floral scents this i think is a really good one and the last one that i have is a scarlet kiss so i'm not sure exactly when this one came out i did order online i believe i also got this one on fragrance net and this has notes of pomegranate peach and warm vanilla and even like down to the packaging it has a picture of just like this juicy peach with pomegranate it just sounded really good and this was around the time i was trying to find like good peach peach scented fragrance mist, which I feel like that's actually really hard to find. So I do think you get all of those fruity notes in there. I think what I'm picking up most on, more so than the peach, would be the pomegranate. It's a very deep, sweet pomegranate scent. And I feel like that just kind of takes over. The peach is a little bit more hidden in the background. You can still pick up on it a little bit, but the peach definitely isn't the star of the show. I'm getting a little bit of maybe the warm vanilla just because it does have a little bit of this warm sweetness to it. But I think overall, it's a very juicy, fruity, sweet scent. This would be perfect to wear in like the spring or summertime. If you love fruity scents, I think you would enjoy this one. I'm not really picking up on any florals. So those are all of the Bodycology mists that I have. I did, I think I said I was going to do my top three, which I ended up choosing my top five and I'm just going to go in order from the fifth to first place, which it was actually really hard to choose. I feel like maybe my answers might change depending on the season, but for right now, from what I smell today, these would be my top favorite. So I think in fifth place actually would be whipped vanilla, even though I love sweet gourmand vanilla scents. There are just a couple others that stood out to me a little bit more, but I do think this is really great for all my vanilla lovers out there. It's not like too sweet or even if you're someone who who doesn't really like sweet Corbon scents, but you kind of want to play around with some sweeter scents, this would be a really good one, just because it's mixed in there with some florals and makes it a little bit more wearable and it's nothing too like overpowering and heavy. Next up in fourth place would be Watermelon Splash. This just smells so good. Like I said, it literally smells like a watermelon candy. So this is going to be perfect to use during the summertime. I'm really looking forward to pulling this one out and just like very true to the name. Like it's a true watermelon Jolly Rancher scent. So third place would go to Island Beach paradise. I don't think this is going to be for everyone, but I just love coconut scents, especially during the summertime. I mean, I feel like there are so many coconut scents out there and I love the scents that kind of smell like a suntan lotion. And that is exactly what this is giving me. Like I really want to pair this with at the beach from Bath and Body Works. I feel like those two would pair really well together or like Waikiki beach coconut, just because it definitely is more of a beachy tropical scent. Second would go to beautiful blossoms. I really didn't think I would like something like this one, but there's just something very fresh fresh and like slightly sweet about this one. I will definitely be pulling this one out as we get closer to spring. It's just a very fresh and girly scent. Like to me, this smells like a perfume and I love that. And first place I think would go to Twilight Mist. It just feels like a very nostalgic scent to me because I did love Twilight Woods back in the day and it just kind of reminds me of one of my favorite scents but almost a little bit stronger. Plus I do like more of those musky like slightly powdery scents. Kind of has this nice creaminess to it as well. So I'm gonna have to pull this one out at night I might even try wearing this one to bed. I mean, even just down to the packaging, it just looks like a nighttime scent. So that wraps up all of my body 
Psychology Miss and all of my favorites, my thoughts on them so far. I am missing like a few others. There have been a couple that I've tried in stores that I really just wasn't a fan of. But obviously, as you can see, Body Fantasies has so many different scents. And you can even pick up the matching body cream and the body wash and have like a complete set for under $15. So I just love that it is so, so affordable and just so easy to find since they are mostly in Walmart. And you know, I love hearing from you guys. So definitely let me know what your favorite scent is from Body Ecology. I would love to know either like your top three or your top favorite that you have tried so far. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. It really helps out my channel and helps out my videos. So I really appreciate when you guys do that. And also subscribe if you have not already. Make sure to turn on your post notifications. That way you'll get updated whenever I post new videos. I am trying to post new videos every single week, multiple videos. So things are going good so far. I do have a lot of video ideas. So really good videos coming very soon. But I think that is it for today. So thank you all so, so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.